welcome back everybody. Um, if you like the video that you see here today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to the channel here as well. Uh, today's video, we've got a brand new Sinis Terrain. It's a special order for a, a customer and uh, we're gonna be showing you how we uh, install the accessories that he's requested we put on it. Hand guards, uh, heated grips, uh, the Toro exhaust system. Uh, we're gonna be doing a few other bits uh, to it as well, uh, preparing it for his first time out on the road. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, roll the intro. So this is the uh, the Rosso Red terrain. Just whip the old covers off here. Ready to be plucked out of his packing case. We just use a bit of a spray on anti seize and uh, just quickly go across the bolts as they lay out so they're uh, a bit more corrosion resistant. I like to do a little bit more on the uh, fasteners that hold the front mug guard in because they are really susceptible to the elements. There you go. So we've got the um, original exhaust system for the terrain, which weighs seven kilos. It's a real hefty device, and it's got a catalytic converter built into the downpipe. And uh, we're going to replace it with the Toro race system. It's a huge saving in weight, as well as a slight increase in performance for the bike. So we do recommend that. Uh, people get it as an accessory on this machine. We've not yet uh, known anyone not want the exhaust system on it, so they are very popular. We like the 300 mil cone tipped can uh, with the baffling. Really nicely made, really nice uh, quality welded unions on it. Real nice piece of kit. And uh, we'll uh, show you now quickly how we fit the system onto the bike and uh, get it running for the first time. This lot is the crash bars and the luggage mounts for the terrain and it's the next process that we're going to uh, 
get installed. So we've got the uh, luggage carriers on, uh, and we've got the um, the crash bars fitted. Uh, we're now going to install the boxes. Standard equipment on the terrain: two side boxes and the top box. There is an optional larger top box, but that is not what this bike is getting. We've got the locks to fit, and uh, then they will just bolt onto the uh, bike. There you go. So we've, uh, we've finally got the exhaust fitted on the bike, uh, the luggage is fitted, the crash bars are fitted. Uh, we're going to um, just give it a quick run, uh, get the fuel pump primed. Uh, we've checked the oil level, it's correct, and we've put a couple of litres of fuel in it. So uh, prime the fuel pump. Takes a little while on the first time. And uh, she should be on the button. There you go. So uh, one of the first jobs that we do on the bikes is change the kilometres over uh, to miles and uh, satisfyingly just pull off the cover of the speedo and we do that, ignition off, hold the select and turn the ignition on, blank screen and then it comes up in miles and there's an option to change the colour of the screen of the terrain so you can either run it in the blue or in the orange. Voila. Cut. <laughs> There's two more accessories to fit on this bike now. Heater grips and the hand guards. Um, we hardwire these into the bike on a switch live, so there's no chance that you can leave them on by accident. And uh, we'll get to it. Let's go. got all the accessories fitted to the uh, terrain. Uh, heated grips, we hardwire the heated grips into this bike uh, on a switch live. Solder connection with the uh, heat shrink to, uh, to a switch live on the accessory connector here. It runs a 4 amp fuse and we route the wiring down the side of the bike. The earth strap splits off here, comes through onto the battery at this side, which I'll just pull around and show you. Down there and then the rest of the wiring runs underneath the tank, comes up in front of the bike here, through the cable tidy, and we just uh, tie up the, uh, the connector wires for the heater grip left and right, uh, down there with the uh, control block mounted to the bars. So when you turn the ignition on, the heater grips come on, and then you can set different levels, or turn them off. You never leave them on with this wired up this way because it's uh, with the ignition, turn the ignition off and the grips go off as well. Hand guards fitted, use the original bar weights, uh, really nice clean job. So the next thing that we're going to do is take this outside and ACF 58 which is an anti-corrosion uh, treatment that we do to the bikes, it's really effective. Um, we found that people using these bikes, any bike, all year round in the winter and salt and crud of UK roads, if it's been ACF 50, it's a fantastic anti-corrosion formula. Uh, we do recommend it. Um, and we're going to take it outside, we'll show you how we do that next, so we'll do that now. When it's cold, and it is freezing today, but when it is cold, 
It's too thick really to operate in the shorts. It's a non-flammable oil as well, so it... The, uh... I've already pre-warmed it a little bit, but... And then I set it finest mist and coat the whole bike, top to bottom. Might be a thousand people screaming, don't put it on the brakes, but we actually strip and clean the brakes with the solvent after we've done it. We find that this is the best way to get everywhere coated and then we remove it from the areas where we don't want it, which is the brakes. A few moments later. We leave the side cover off so I can get to the rear shock and do all the linkages inside there, the battery terminals, all the uh, connections underneath the seat. Uh, you don't need to blast it in real close and pinpoint a, a squirt of it because as you mist it on, when it makes contact with anything, it sticks to it, clings to it, and then it, it, it creeps across the surface, coating the whole bike really evenly. So after you've sprayed it, you need to leave it a while for it to settle everywhere and then we buff the bike down afterwards. One eternity later. I think I'm happy with that. The, uh, the bikes that we've done with this, that we've serviced, that we've had back into service, always are way easier to work on, way easier to clean. Uh, corrosion free, it really is a fantastic product. On a used bike or a new bike, we charge £15 to pre prepare it like this. Um, if you came in for a valet, we just add it on additionally to the valet, but this is a really good product. It's worth reading up on it. Right, the bike's all buffed down, it's ready to go. We'll stick a lid on now, get out on the road and give it a good test ride. Heater grips, the heater grips are a godsend. These weather conditions, it is freezing cold today. 4th of December 2019. We always put a couple of kilometres on the uh, on the bikes before we give them over to the customers. It's uh, part of the warranty process, so we know that everything's working properly. The gearbox, clutch, brakes, suspension, all the switch gear. Lovely exhaust system on this bike, it is just a great addition to the um, to the performance. So we've got to uh, Six and a half thousand RPMs, the, the running in max. Max RPMs that you recommend it to keep the, keep the bike to whilst it's uh, in the first 600 miles of running in. That's there. Heat grips are amazing. <laughs> been a bit of a wuss today because it is freezing but uh, they're on full. Gear indicator on the dash, very useful. Really nice controls. Thanks. 
a nice and just a dab of the back brake brings the front in a little bit as well very relaxed very smooth over the bumps the roads in Yorkshire are pretty shocking and uh, I've not had any jarring sensations from potholes yet Overrun blips on the throttle downshifting. What a fantastic motorcycle this is. Great visibility, the view out of the mirrors is very good. That little screen's just taking the blast off my chest. It's uh, effective without being intrusive into the riding sensation We've got the go ahead from a fire engine behind us About 5,000 rpm big steep hill just very moderate throttle 30 miles an hour cruising Grips are red hot, I'm going to turn them down one. turn around here, head back up to the shop. Really pleased with the uh, way this is running. What a nice gear shot, your gearbox. I certainly feel like you're not on a little skinny toy. Lovely gearbox. Oh, nice little. Collect the throttle. Nice. Not jerky. They're not going to drop the fuel injection of Delphi. Uh... This is a really nice machine. Just into first there. Side stand cuts the uh, the engine out. What a fantastic motorcycle. That's fantastic bike that. <laughs> That's fantastic Steve. Absolutely fantastic. In this weather conditions, heated grips and handguards are an absolute necessity. Uh, I love the exhaust system, I love the way the bike sounds, uh, I love the way it rides. I think they're a, a brilliant uh, 125 option. Um, if you want to reserve one of these, uh, you can do. Uh, give us a call or visit our website for further details on that. Um, we'd love to prepare you one with all the accessories that this one's got on it. It's just superb. The Sinister Terrain. We're really, really pleased to be a dealer for this bike. Very good.